Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Korlick with Figure It Out Productions. The following video is part of our Quick Shoot series. Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about end labels. Now, what are end labels? If you look at an NES game here, let's say uh, we got Contra, you look at the front, you see a nice sticker there, and then on the side, you have another sticker. So when you put your games all away, you can see them, and you can easily find whatever game you want. Oh, I want some Super Mario 2. Well, how easy was that? I easily found it just looking at it. But then you look at other systems. Look at the Atari Jaguar. Yeah, it's real easy to tell what game I've got there. Or the N64. Unless you're looking for Donkey Kong Country 64, Donkey Kong 64, or WrestleMania 2000, or a game that had just crap all over it that you can't get rid of because Blockbuster back in the day made these stickers that are completely and totally not removable. Unless it's one of those three cartridges, I'm kind of screwed. Those are in alphabetical order, but that doesn't really help me. Super Nintendo is an interesting case because the Super Nintendo does have end labels. Like Power Rangers here. This is an awesome game, by the way. I don't care that it's Power Rangers. This is an awesome game. Um, it has an end label, but it doesn't fit. I mean, I can adjust the shelf, but that's not good because then it's just taking up more space for down here when they may eventually cross down there. That's going to suck. That's not going to solve my problem. So it's inconvenient that I can't read the sides. And so it occurred to me that there's something you can do about this. Uh, you can make your own end labels, and that's kind of what we're going to talk about here. You can also repair end labels for uh, games that no longer have them. These are some Atari 2600 games I've got here. Pac-Man, possibly the worst version of Pac-Man ever made. Its end label fell off, probably to get away from this game. And then this game called Surround uh, that is actually good, so I'm sad that its end label ran away. But we can fix that. Now, there are a couple of methods. There's one that's expensive that I would not recommend, but, you know, you could do it, which is you go out, and uh, there are some places that will actually make really nice custom stickers that you can put on your cartridges. Um, you know, they would go on N64 games. The Sega 32X is notorious for that. For whatever reason that I can't fathom, it's not just Nintendo that's guilty of this. Sega, on the Genesis, they used end labels, which was awesome because you can easily see whatever you want. But for whatever reason, when they did the 32X, they're like, you know what? Screw that feature. That, that sucks. Let's get rid of that. People don't like having to be able to easily get to the games they want. And Nintendo is notorious for this, as you can see. But, uh... Yeah, so I'm, I got a much cheaper method. It will cost you probably about four bucks, and it'll fix every single cartridge you have. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so I've got two games here to show this. So this is all you're going to need. You're going to need some scissors, you're going to need a Sharpie, and you're going to need a roll of painter's tape. Painter's tape. This is very specific. Um, I found this in a Walgreens for only a couple bucks. Um, the reason this works so well is uh, it's sticky, yet doesn't leave an adhesive, and it peels away easily. So, you know, you can put it on the cartridge and then peel it right off, and the cartridge won't have any damage on it at all. It'll, it'll be great. Now, um, this is, you know, really just for a convenience sake. If you really are going for the artistic thing, you're going to want to um, buy the really good labels or just put up with the fact that you're not, you don't want to alter the way these things look. But I promise you, if you put this painter's tape on it, uh, you can write on the painter's tape and then have a nice end label for the cartridge here on the top or on the sides, wherever you want to put it, and it'll easily fit into your collection and you won't have to deal with, like, thumbing through all these cartridges all the time. It'll make it really easy. And now, personally, I just write them on because my, you know, that's all I want to do. But if you have, like, really good handwriting or you're, you know, good at drawing, you could try and copy these logos and stuff. And that would make a really neat little experiment there. But, um, you know, I'll just show you real quick what I would do. Just take a piece of tape, you know, come out to, eh, about there is fine. And then you cut it like, you know, like that. And then you got a nice piece of tape there. And then what you're going to want to do is kind of cut it in half, right down the center. And then you can... You know, either put it on a, you know, on a flat surface and write down the name, or you can put it on the cartridge and write. I tend to prefer putting it on a flat surface. Um, you know, I guess I could put it right there like that. Actually, that's a good idea. I will put down uh, the name Perfect 
sorry, it's hard to write from this angle. Perfect dark. Okay, obviously that'll be for this game. And then watch this, I'm telling you, easily peels away. No evidence of any stickiness. It's still sticky here. And then what you do is you take your game on the top and you put down your end label like that. And there you go, you have an end label. Now, granted, it's not the prettiest looking thing, but it will work. It will display correctly and you'll know exactly what game you've got. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with all these cartridges and then we'll take a look at the result. Okay, so now you can see I've put labels on all these things. Uh, I felt like the N64 game should be propped up on their sides because they're not as tall as Super Nintendo games. But uh, Super Nintendo, you know, I put them on the side like that. Uh, my handwriting is atrocious, so I'm sure it, it looks very, very bad. But uh, the point is, if you have good handwriting, and or if you're good at drawing, you could make some really cool little labels there. Um, but this this makes it a million times easier to find whatever game I want. And of course, like I said, I could just, at any time, if I just decide, uh, I don't like having labels on there, I want them to look authentic, you can just tear those off, no problem. They won't stick to it at all. And you can repair other games like those, you know. Uh, the Jaguar games I decided I wanted to do on the side, and that makes it like possible to find them now. Uh, Super Nintendo, like I said before. You know, I also noticed um, with Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 here, uh, I actually, this game didn't have a label on it. I had forgotten this. It has been a long time. I found this uh, once. It was just a cartridge. There was no label of any kind. I, I could have I had Earthbound here. I mean, I had no idea what this was. Popped it in. It was Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, so that was cool. Um, but you know, I decided, okay, I'll put a label on that too. I also put labels on my 32X games. But uh, there you go. I just thought you guys would like a little tip like that. Uh, like I said, you know, painter's tape. Make sure it's painter's tape. Don't get, don't use duct tape. Use painter's tape. Painter's tape might come in different colors. I really don't know. Uh, the only one I found was blue, and I was fine with that, even though I know it's kind of a little standoffish. But uh, yeah, maybe they have white ones, maybe they have gray ones. I don't know. But uh, painter's tape, make sure you get that. It's also cheap, which is always great, and you get tons of it. So you'll be able to do all your games, no problem. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you learned something. See you later.